Hey, Shalom. Shalom. We're going to start off giving all praises to Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai Ba'ashim, Makar Kodash, and double honors to our apostles, Mills, the great millstone, the ruler, teach well. Salutation to you, sincere and humble brothers, facing the diligence and pushing this truth, and fearing and trembling through spirit and power, Yahweh Ba'ashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. Israel will make the world great again. All right. And we're coming into a time where this kingdom that's being ruled by Esau, Edom, the wicked, the devil that the Bible speaks of, is coming to an end. As it says that Jacob is the uh, uh, beginning of the world. Esau is the end and Jacob is the beginning. All right. So we're coming into new beginnings, new time, a new season. All right. Which Esau is looking forward to America being made great again and re uh, gaining control of the earth. But that's not going to happen. What's about to happen is a transition of power, man. You're going to see Israel make the entire world great again, all right? And it all starts with us. Any nation that has ever been great was made great because of us, man. You know, we had uh, our time of King Solomon's reign where we ruled the earth, all right? And it was perfect peace, which was a foreshadowing of the everlasting dominion that we're going to have. That's what we're going to speak on, all right? Lord willing, this be edifying. The book Isaiah 2 and 1. The word that Isaiah, the son of Amos, saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. And it should come to pass in the last days that the mount of the Lord's house should be established at the top of the mountains and should be exalted above the hills. Right, the mountains and hills represent big governments and small governments, man. Right? And the Lord's uh, uh, mountain is Israel, all right? God. The Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mounts and shall be exalted above the hills. Right, which means it's going to be the uh, the upper echelon. The, the, we're going to be the kings of the kings of all the earth, man. All right? Go ahead. And all nations shall flow onto it. All right, and it starts with your house shot, all right? You see us coming back to our power, all right? Is going to put us back in the in the power seat of the earth, all right? Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is the source of our strength, man, all right? And he gave us uh, he gave us the recipe to rule the earth in righteousness, which was his wisdom, which equates to the law, statutes, and commandments, all right? Uh, verse three. And many people should go up, should go and say, "Come ye and let us go up to the mounts of the Lord." To the house of the power of Jacob. Which is the same thing that was going on in the time of King Solomon. All right. In the time of King Solomon's reign. All right. It said all nations was was was, was coming to him. But what? Wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, man. Uh, you can keep going. Let's see if I can find this piece of All right. And he would teach us of his ways, and we would walk in his paths. Mm -hmm. For out of Zion shall go forth the law. Yep. And the word of the Lord from Jerusalem. You know, this is about to happen, you know. Verse 4, and he shall judge among the nations and shall rebuke many people. Right. And they uh just speak just speaking on that on that part about uh the law of Israel. See, the whole world is gonna be under the law of Israel, man. That's why it's gonna be peace and order, all right, and justice and equity. You know, there's not gonna be any more deceit. Rape, robbery, lies, and murder. All right, all of that's going to be done away with, man. Girl, you know, they're going to be the one world order. You know, under our Lord Yahweh Shai. You know, yeah, that's going to be the new world order. All right, one world government under the nation of Israel, like the brother said, started with Yahweh Shai, King David the Twelve. All right, there's going to be righteous justice and order established in the earth, man. Um, no more false balances. What you got, bro? Uh, you got a piece up? Go ahead. Isaiah, Isaiah 2 and 4 And he should judge among the nations And shall rebuild many people And they shall beat their swords into plowshares mm -hmm. And their spears into pulling hooks Nations should not look for a sword Against nations Neither should they learn war anymore mm -hmm. And that's how you know That the nation that's uh, a People that's over there in the land of Israel today Are not the true uh, the, the true uh, Israelites, all right, and not the real Jews, all right, because they don't even uh, subscribe to the other tribes, you know, the only uh, tribe that they say that they are yep. are Jews, right? you know, where are the rest of the tribes, 
and you have continual wars going on around the planet Earth. And ever since they got in that land, right, which is in 1948, during the, uh, under the Balfour Declaration, it's been nothing but constant wars, man. All right? You got the biggest gay parade on the planet over there, all right, in Tel Aviv. So how are these people, the people that are supposed to bring what the scriptures are speaking on, peace to the earth, man? Uh, you don't see that. So by uh, uh, reading and understanding the, the, the things and prophecies written in the scriptures, hey, we know that they are the uh, are apostles, man. You know, as it says in Revelations 2 and 9 and 3 and 9. All right? Uh, hold on, one more. Okay. Verse 5. O house of Jacob, come ye and let us walk in the light of mm -hmm. the Lord, Yahweh by Shirah Shah. You know, so every nation go learn the law of the Israelites, you know. Mm -hmm. Every nation, man, you know. Yep. Uh, House of Rock 47 uh, and 14. Hold it. I, this is a precept that I was talking about, you know, during the time when we, uh, where it was a foreshadowing of the king to come was during the time of King Solomon's reign, right? All right, now this is a uh, this is a uh, First Kings four and uh, I'm gonna start at verse twenty five. It says, "And Judah and Israel dwell safely, every man under his vine and under his fig tree, from Dan even to Beersheba, all the days of Solomon. And Solomon had forty thousand stalls of horses." For his chariots and 12,000 horsemen. And those officers provided victual for King Solomon. For all that uh, came unto King Solomon. Table every man in his month. They lacked nothing. Alright. So we had everything. We lacked nothing man. And with that being uh, uh, established in the kingdom. We also had peace uh, amongst the other nations that were around us. They weren't trying to go to war with us. You know. We, we had the, the power seat and we had total peace, man. All right. Let me uh, continue on. It says, Barley also and straw for the horses and uh, drum dairies brought they unto the place where the officers were, every man according to his charge. And the Most High gave Solomon wisdom and understanding, exceeding much and largeness of heart. Even as the sand that is on the seashore. All right. And Solomon's wisdom excelled the wisdom of all the children of the east country and all the wisdom of Egypt. For he was wiser than all men, than Ethan and Ezraite and Heman and Chaco and Darda, the sons of Mahal. And his fame was in all nations round about, man. I'm going to skip down to the last point, verse 34. And there came all people to hear the wisdom of Solomon for all kings of the earth, uh, from all kings of the earth which he had heard, which had heard of his wisdom. So get wisdom with Solomon 6 and, six and 20 first. All right. Solomon 6 and 20? Yeah, because it tells you that uh, uh, wisdom, all right, bringeth the kingdom, man. Right? All right. And we're getting the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding back, you know. And we know that uh, King Solomon was, was Yahweh Shah. So the earth was getting the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from the spirit of Yahweh Shah, which was in King Solomon's vessel, man, in his flesh, all right? Uh -huh. So when we get the kingdom back, it's going to start with Yahweh Shah. He's going to, it's going to, it's going to start with Israel getting the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, all right? And with the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding being given to us, the entire earth is going to uh, is going to subscribe to righteousness, to subscribe to righteousness, to the law, statutes, and commandments of the heavenly Father, man. All right. Uh, it was Solomon six, start at eighteen. Start going to the point. Get straight yeah. to the point. Yeah. Uh, it was Solomon six and twenty. Therefore, the desire of wisdom bring into a kingdom. And that's what King Solomon desired, you know. And when when uh when he prayed for wisdom, the Most High said, "Since you have asked for these things, since you have asked for this." I'm, I'm, which I'm roughly paraphrasing. I'm going to give you the whole world. I'm going to give you everything abundantly, man. All right? 
Okay, bro. What's the one? If you delight, be dead in thrones and sectors of your kings so the people on the wisdom. All right, because King Solomon, what did he, what did he want? He he honored wisdom. He 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 didn't he didn't ask for thrones and scepters. The Lord gave him that because he desired wisdom, man. Go ahead, bro. Oh, you can't say the people on the wisdom that he may reign forevermore. Mm -hmm. And that's how we're going to get uh, everlasting dominion, man, through the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High. Uh, Let's see what Sirach 47 say right here. 47, 47. Yeah, just, just read it real quick because it was a precept on the side. Okay, Let's see if it's going in. How you going in? Okay, go ahead. Where's the Solomon? For the, I mean, so, so like, so what, 47 and 13. Solomon reigned in a peaceable time mm -hmm. and was honored. Mm -hmm. But the most I made all cry it round about, round about him. Oh, uh, what? Cry it. Oh, made all quiet. Yeah. See, peace. That's what I was saying. When he was, when, when, when we was ruling in that time under King Solomon, you got to think. In today's time, when you got all the riches, people want to take you out. Yeah. People don't want to be at peace with you, right? That's why it takes wisdom to handle great responsibility and great wealth, all right? Because you know how to uh, help people and not be a tyrant like this white man, uh, Esau Edom, rules today, all right? He's greedy. He's selfish. All he does is reap, 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 all right? He, he constantly takes. He never gives. All he, all he does is, is, is kill, uh, steal, and destroy, man. You know, that's what they say the devil come to do. Uh, uh, do nothing but steal, kill, and destroy, man. Yep. All right? Go ahead, bro. It said, For the most I may all cry round by him that he may build a house in his name mm -hmm. and prepare his sanctuary f forever. Mm -hmm. You know? Right. And that's what's being done. All right? Uh, 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 it says no new thing under the sun, man. The Lord, the, the Lord has given us that wisdom, not just understanding back, man, so that we can build, all right, uh, uh, the house of David back up, all right? And then when Yahweh Shah comes back, all right, the the the, uh, the physical aspect of the kingdom, because the kingdom is spiritually within us, the physical aspect of the kingdom is going to be made, man, you know? Uh -huh. But it starts with our minds, all right? This is Deuteronomy 4. And I'm going to start at verse 5. Behold, I have taught you statutes and judgments, even as the Lord, Yahweh, my power, commanded me that ye should do so in the land, whether ye go to possess it. Keep therefore and do them. For this is your wisdom and your understanding in the sight of the nations, which shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. Because it's all about the wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of the Most High, man. That's what's going to uh, bring us and exalt us back into that stat, that status that we had under King Solomon, man. All right? It says, For what nation is there so great who hath power so nigh unto them? And the Lord, Yahweh, our power is in all things that we call upon for him. And what nation is there so great that has statutes and judgments so righteous as all the law which I set before you this day? And the answer is none. According to Psalms, uh, what's that, 147 and 19, oh. the Lord has not dealt with any other nation the way that he has dealt with the nation of Israel. All right. His statutes and his judgments, he have not dealt to these other nations. They have not known them. So they don't know the way of righteousness. They don't know the way of building up a kingdom so great and wealthy but yet still maintain peace within the earth man okay. that's that's what's different about the nation of israel than all these other nations on the earth man the lord dealt specially in an intimate way with us that he's never dealt with in any other uh, nation man uh, you know because we did on uh, apple of his eye we in the israelites eye, man. you know yep you got uh get that uh Proverbs twenty yeah come okay. it's Proverbs twenty nine and two when the righteous are in authority the people rejoice mm -hmm. but when the wicked build rule the people mourn right so that's what you see going on in the earth right now Esau's age is about mourning lamentations mourning and woes man and when our rule comes it's going to be about peace all right the nations are going to rejoice. All right, it's going to be overfilled, man. 
all right? Because the way things are going to be orchestrated, all right, our, uh, our uh, economics, all right, uh, our, uh, our legislations, all right, which uh, is going to be the law, statutes, and commandments, all right, our, uh, our council, you know, the way that uh, we want to, we're going to deal with uh, these other nations breaking the laws is going to be, uh, uh, what's the word? It's going to be have more justice, man. It's going to be more justice in our system, man. All right, righteous justice, righteous, righteous justice. And people man. are going to rejoice, man. You know, because mm -hmm. the wicked will it now and people mourning, man. Yep. You know. Yep. You can see you turn on uh, 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 CNN, World News, BBC. All you see is all these other nations constantly uh, uh, going back and forth about the injustices that America is bringing upon the world, man. You know? Uh, uh, you got something else? I can't find uh, it. Yeah, uh, Psalm 72. I think verse, verses 3 and 4. I got one. Luke 3 and 24. Uh, Psalm seventy two and three. Yep, yep. Uh, three and four. You can you can start. You start at one and just verses one through three. Verses one through four. All right. Um, the Psalms seventy two, starting one. Give the king that judgment, O power, and that righteousness unto the king's son. Mm -hmm. He should judge that people with righteousness and that poor with judgment. Mm -hmm. And that's 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 King David talking about King Solomon, his son. No, this Psalm Psalm four. Yeah, come, come, slide. Come. Go ahead, bro. It says Psalm for Solomon. You know, um, verse three: the mountains shall bring peace to the people, and the little hills by righteousness. Mm -hmm. He shall judge the poor of the people. He shall save the children of the needy. Mm -hmm. He shall break in pieces the oppressors. Right. All right. So, hey, that's that's. That's how we're going to rule, man. All right? And now, through this word, we're doing what? Breaking in peace the oppressor, man. All right? And the Lord said he was going to do that with us. This is uh, this is Jeremiah 51. This is uh, Jeremiah 51 and 19. The portion of Jacob, the portion of Jacob is not like them, for he is the former of all things. Israel is the rod of his inheritance. The Lord, Yahweh host, is his name. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. And with thee will I break in pieces the horse and his rider, and with thee will I break in peace the chariot and his rider. All right? So the Most High is going to use us to tear down this society and this kingdom of wickedness all right, and then we want to establish righteous judgment in the earth, and the whole world is going to be made great, man. Uh, you got some? Yeah, this Psalms 47, starting one. Oh, clap your hands, all ye people. Mm -hmm. Shout unto the Most High with the voice of triumph. Mm -hmm. For the Lord Most High is terrible. He is a great king over all the earth. Yep. You know, he should subdue the people under us mm -hmm. and the nations under our feet. He's going to bring these other nations into subjection under us, man. Yep. You know, and he's going to he's going to use us to do it. All right. Yep. Through what? Wisdom, knowledge and understanding, man. All right. All right. He said he should choose our inheritance for us. Mm -hmm. The excellency of Jacob, whom he loved. Yeah, right, that's it, man. <laughs> the excellence of Jacob, whom he loves, man. That yep. might be it. I'm just looking for one more. The root, I think it's the root three and twenty four. Yep. Oh, yeah, this is it right here. This is Baruch 3 and 24. And we'll close out. It's Baruch 3 and 24. Oh, Israel, how great is the house of most, how great is the house of the most high, Yahabashim, Yahabashah, and how large is the place of his possession. Great and have none end. High and unmeasurable, man. All right? Unmeasurable. So, look, we can only think so so far in this body in this vessel all right in this flesh of how great the kingdom is going to be man i know i made a statement of you know in one lesson we did a while back like even with the knowledge this small little knowledge we have now 
if the Lord gave us the dominion today, the earth will automatically start uh, 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 being made great, being made better. Things will be uh, uh, in more order, you know? Mm -hmm. So just imagine when we get the full understanding, the 100%. All right, uh, use of our brain, the new bodies. All right, when we get uh, 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 that total power, man. All right, where we don't go off, God. you know. Hey, un unmeasurable. All right. God. So with that, Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. We want to give all praises to Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shad by Hashem, Kadash. Double honors to our apostle Nelson Gray Millstone. Poem Yasharala, Abal Babal, Rise Israel, Destroy Confusion, Shalom La Bukharian. Shalom.